All right, so after my other video, how to, um, you know, flesh a Barracina tail, I finally figured out how to pronounce that word. Um, I just got back from work, and so here's the Barracina tail. It's been salted already, and so now it's ready to tan in the brine for a little bit. Now let me explain the brine which, as you can see, has a few things already in it. Brines are, well, I mean, if you've ever cooked, you know what a brine is to an extent, but this is like a pickling brine. So the general ratio is 1-1 one, one for vinegar and water. So if you have one gallon of vinegar, you're going to use one gallon of water. Um, for average speaking, for like a typical hide, people will generally use around four at minimum, as far as, you know, two gallons of vinegar, two gallons of water. And for each gallon used, you need two pounds of salt. So as in here, there is four pounds of salt because there are two gallons worth of fluid. So in the sense of a full hide, where you would have four gallons, you would have eight gallons or eight pounds of salt. But it has to be, you know, preferably non-iodine salt. Do not use rock salt. Don't use pink salt. Um, generally, non-iodined salt is more so cheaper but also the general picked type of salt. Uh, you can use aquarium salt as well, because that kind of fits in that realm. Obviously you can get pickling salt, which is already suited for this task. Um, for say hides and whatnot, you can let it, depending on how much work you're doing, how fast you get it out. Um, in my case, because I'm not doing a whole, whole lot, also I'm lacking a few supplies right now, this can sit in here for a few weeks. This tail is going to go in for about uh, three or so weeks, like the other tails that I have in here. Those tails have been in here for only half of one week, so I'm going to let them sit in until basically June, mid-June. Um, I have two platypus tails. I have two beaver tails. I'm so sorry. I have two beaver tails in here. Um, and that's, those have been sitting in here for, one's been in there for about two weeks, the other has only been in there for about a week. So I'm going to let them sit, and because my brine ratio is under the pH of two, under pH of two, it can last for a good several weeks. Um, make sure to whenever you have a pickling brine, use a plastic container. Um, you don't want to use metal, and preferably a lid like this. One, you just don't want that smell. Two, it is extremely acidic. And you don't want to be breathing that in because it's going to smell a lot stronger than typical, you know, vinegar. So also use gloves of some kind. Um, obviously you don't want to have metal and acid storage together like that, especially not for weeks and weeks on hand. This I got from a Big Lots, but you can get about any container of Sterilite, you know, just about anywhere. I just needed something small because I don't do large full-sized hides here in my current residence. That's what work is for. I do a lot of experimental stuff so I and you know tails. So I only need something fairly small that can store, you know, a good handful of small bits. Now will I probably add a little bit more to this in about a month or so? Yes. But that doesn't really change anything. I'll just have to adjust the ratios because I'm probably not going to add more than an extra gallon. Maybe even a half gallon of, you know, water plus a half gallon of vinegar, which would make, what, 
one pound of salt, if I did, if I did the math correctly. Um, yes, always make sure the pH is two or lower. Anything more and it's not acidic enough. Um, it helps in a sense, you know, one, killing the bacteria, but preserving. The biggest thing it does is preserve and also cure it along with the salt. It's all a process of curing and preservation and bacteria killing it. And so, letting everything that I have currently in here stay for a few weeks until I'm ready to work on it. Or, you know, like the tails that are already in here, all I have to do is oil them and then um, basically leave them out to dry and then they'll be ready because they cannot go in a tumbler and they cannot be shaved by themselves as they're thin enough as is. But anything else, you know, that is the basics of the spine. Um, I, you know, I keep it in a small container. If you obviously have the proper space, you're obviously going, obviously going to need a larger unit and, um, you know, a much higher concentrate of the mixture. But as you can see in my tiny abode, I don't need a whole lot. Um, I suppose if you have any other questions, you could ask me. Um, I'm definitely open to expanding information for those curious. Um, and yeah.